Good day everyone. My name is Lovelyn S. Mendoza and together with my co-proponents, Mom Shane Brita Eich Reps and Sir Arnold B. De Los Reyes, I'm going to present our action research entitled Grammar Reinforcement to Overcome Writing Technicalities and Hindrances through the Utilization of Mobile Application Development Program. Most students have, have expressed their difficulties in using English language in both writing and speaking activities. Worse, the global pandemic has limited the communication between the students and teachers in order to address the problem. Thus, this study was conducted to cater the needs of the students in enhancing and overcoming their writing difficulties through enhancing their grammar proficiency skills. This study aims to answer the following question. What is the level of grammar proficiency of the students using the project work before the utilization of the program? What is the level of grammar proficiency of the students using the project work after the utilization of the program? And is there a significant difference between the level of grammar proficiency of the students using the project work before and after the utilization of the program? Mobile Application Development Program is designed for grammar activities. This reinforcement will enable the teachers to create a game designed for grammar activities and eventually will help the students develop their grammar competency, helping them to realize their common error in writing. Using Kregi and Morgan, the participants of the study has become 159 grade 11 young students of Bukal National Integrated School, school year 2022 to 2023. A purposive sampling technique was used to identify the sample. The data collection was conducted at BNIS on the first quarter. The participants were given an informed consent which includes the anonymity of their identity. The researchers administered a pretest on grammar reinforcement before the utilization of math program, and the post-tests were given to identify the student's level of mastery. Learning outcome assessment was used to identify the mastery level of the students, and the hate gain was used to identify if there is a significant difference between the grammar competence of the students using grammar reinforcement before and after the utilization of math program. Based from the results of the pre-tests, the total score obtained was 2,069 with a mean of 13.01, standard deviation of 3.08, and a mean percentage score of 65.05%. While on the pre-tests, post-tests rather, the summary of results shows a total score obtained of 2,479, a mean of 15.59, standard deviation of 2.6, and a mean percentage score of 77.95%. Based from the results of the pre-test and post-test, a Hake's gain score of 0 0.37 was obtained with a verbal description of medium gain. Based from the gathered data, under the level of grammar proficiency of the students before the utilization of math program, two items obtained the highest score equivalent to a verbal interpretation of mastered, while two items obtained the lowest score, which is equivalent, which are equivalent to the low uh, to the to verbal interpretation of low mastery. On the other hand, in terms of level of grammar proficiency of the students after the utilization of math program, 10 items obtained the highest score with a verbal interpretation of mastered, while two items obtained the lowest score with a verbal interpretation of moving towards mastery. The results obtained a hit gain of 0 0.37, which, which is interpreted as medium gain. The students... Uh, should be willing to improve their grammar skills at this is one of the common errors in both oral and written activities inside the classroom. The teacher should acquire the 21st century teaching teacher skills who are globally competitive and are willing to turn the traditional into something ex extraordinary using modern techniques and strategies in teaching the 21st century learners. And lastly, the Department of Education should include grammar lessons in senior high school curriculum as it is one of the most important macro skills that every learner needs in order to write and speak using English language. So for the work plan, preparation, permission, collection of data, conduct of the project, collection of data for the post test and data analysis. So we have the following. And then for the plans for dissemination and utilization. Yeah. And that's all. Thank you.